Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you another behind the scenes of a shoot that I did using only natural light. Let's get started. This shoot was inspired by the works of Irene Rudnick and Anita Sadowska. The model that I'm shooting with today is my friend Millie. When we arrived to the location, we ran into a few problems. It was initially sunny that day, but out of nowhere the sky became overcast and it started to rain. Even though this low light situation wasn't ideal for this shoot, it will give you guys a chance to see how the Canon EOS RP handles high ISOs. For the first spot, I had my model against a rock wall with a lot of moss on it. Because of the lighting conditions, all the posing had to be with my model's face turned up toward the sun. My favorite lens to use is normally the 85mm, but because this shoot had more of an editorial feel to it, I decided to use my 50 and 35mm lenses too. The light kept getting darker and darker as we were shooting. In situations like this, I always look for the highlights on my model's face. As long as I can see some highlighting, I know that the shot is usable. For the second spot, we walked up to an area that had more light spilling onto it. The area was a little bit difficult to pose on though because of the uneven rocks. Make sure you and your model are comfortable when you're setting up on your new location and adjust the spot where you put your model if needed. I had my model sit on this giant rock underneath the leaves. The clouds are breaking up a bit, creating a spotlight effect on this rock. For the third and final spot, we found an area where there was a platform my model could sit on and pose. The clouds were finally breaking up and the sun was starting to come out. The conditions were partly cloudy though, so we had to wait in between shots for the sun to come out before it got dark again. This specific outfit my model created. She took some tulle and wrapped it around a waistband and then pulled it over a black bodysuit. The skirt was giving us a little bit of difficulty though, it was important that the skirt laid flat because when it was bunched up, it wasn't visible against the dark rocks. When the skirt was laid out perfectly though, it was very beautiful. My model then changed into the last outfit. She let down the straps and let the dress drape on her. That's all I have for you today. Thank you to everyone involved in this shoot. If you liked this video, please press the like button and subscribe for more future behind the scenes. Everyone out there, stay safe and healthy. My name is Raphael, and I'll see you next time.
拜。